Welcome to another Shopify tutorial. Today, we're gonna to show you how to connect your custom domain to your Shopify store. Now, adding your custom domain is important because you don't wanna keep just your uh, generic myshopify.com URL. You wanna have something custom for your online store. So what you wanna do is click on online store and go over to domains. Now, under domains, you'll see that we have the primary domain is set up for the myshopify.com. This is really more of a work in progress link um, if you're working with a developer or working with third parties to get your website up and running. Um, this will be the domain that they'll probably use to show you progress and things like that. Now, in order to connect your domain, your custom domain, you can do either do two things. If you've already purchased one, then you would go through connect existing domains. If not, you can just go through Shopify's buy new domain. Now, if I already have my own domain, I haven't bought it yet, but I have my own. And um, you can also actually go to maybe GoDaddy or even Google domains if you wanna purchase a domain before you start your Shopify store. So for example, littlebittreats.com is available. It's only 11.99. I would just add that to my cart and then just kind of sit on it until the website is done and ready to go. Now, let's say that I've have already done that and my website, it's ready to get launched. Um, I just need to put in my domain. So I'm gonna put it in our website domain sans, um, if I put the one that hasn't been purchased, it will just give me, an, an, not an error code, but it'll give me a message saying, hey, nobody actually has purchased this. You can purchase it through Shopify domains, but we don't wanna do that right now. So. We're going to connect our bitbranding.co domain, which is not really going to do anything, but it will show you the next steps here on the process. All right. And then the next step here is going to show you uh, whether you can connect it manually or automatically. If you're a newbie, I would suggest doing the automatically. Although I have problems in the past by because if I already had stuff set up with maybe an old website and I connect it automatically, it might mess some things around in there. So I would maybe suggest if you already have a previous website and you're switching over to Shopify to do it manually so you can control what gets changed on your DNS records on your domain records. So if you're brand new, this is a brand new domain, you can probably do connect automatically and it will automatically take care of it. If not, I would click on connect manually and inside of connect manually, it will give you the option to view the GoDaddy instructions. The GoDaddy instructions is pretty straightforward. Um, it will go through some of the steps that I've already talked about, but where you want to get to is the set up your existing domain to connect to Shopify. There's just two things that you need to do here is connect your A record, which is this right here, and then connect a C name record, which will be the a www, and then it points to this. Now these instructions are pretty straightforward and it kind of goes a little bit into detail. If you're curious and want to uh, for me to go through the process on the GoDaddy side, um, just let me know that. Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and we can also create just a additional video along with this one that will go through that side of the process, the GoDaddy, or it could be other domain um, hosting providers. For example, there's one on one, Bluehost, Domain.com, Google Domains, like I mentioned before. Those are some of the most popular ones. So if you're still looking or shopping for domains. I would highly suggest you go to this page because it will show you some of the main ones that Shopify connects very well with. All right, that's all I have for you today. All right, thank you for watching this episode on how to connect your custom domain to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like so YouTube knows that this video was good. Yeah, and also subscribe and let us know in the comments that you enjoyed this episode, you wanna learn more, or maybe you have something in mind that you're trying to figure out and can't figure it out. Let us know in the comments and we'll figure it out for you.